Now let's look at an example of an actual packet. And I'll use the internet protocol for this example. So we'll look at the structure of an IP datagram. So the internet protocol refers to as a datagram instead of a packet. So the top two lines here show an example IP datagram that I've, I've recorded in the past. So this sequence of, if you count them, 160 bits. I've actually had to wrap the line. In. I could not fit them all on the one line. But what is a packet? It's just a sequence of zeros and ones. But what's important is that those zeros and ones have some meaning. And a standard normally defines what different bits in that packet mean. So first, we, uh, from what I present here, we can read left to right. So the first, uh, first bits, if I read out, are 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the last two bits are 1, 0. That's on the second line, on, on the right-hand side. This is in fact the header of an IP datagram. It's not the entire datagram that the data I have not shown. So it's just the header. And there are 160 bits or 20 bytes. What do those bits mean? What is this control information contained in the IP datagram header? Well, we need to look in the standard to see how the IP datagram header is structured. <coughs> If you look up the, the standard for the Internet Protocol, RFC 791, it defines which bits belong to which fields. So a header has fields, and those fields have values. I've highlighted those different fields in the IP header in different colors here. So the first field is, is the first four bits, 0, 1, 0, 0. That is the version of the protocol used in this case. The next four bits, the green 0101, indicate the header length. And then we have further fields as we go through. A 6-bit field in blue, a 2-bit field, and so on. And the last two fields are each 32 bits in length. There's the source address and the destination address, identifying who created this IP datagram and who is it destined to. the standard defines the meaning of how to interpret those field values. So the field values in binary, what do they mean? Some of them, some of them are obvious, some, some are not so obvious. For example, the version in binary 0100 in decimal 4, meaning we're using IP version 4. The header length 0101 in decimal 5, what does that mean? It doesn't mean the header is 5 bytes in length. It doesn't mean the header is 5 bits in length. If you look at the standard, it actually means that the header is 5 times 4 bytes in length. That is, the header field, sorry, the header length field counts in groups of 4 bytes, or 32 bits. So a value of 5 means the header is 20 bytes in length. The reason we include the header length in an IP datagram is because you can actually include optional header fields making the, the header larger than 20 bytes. The source and destination address, 32-bit values, of course we can map them to some human-friendly uh, dot a decimal notation. 1010101.65 for my source address and destination address. Of course, uh, presenting a packet header or an entire packet in binary is not very convenient for, for us humans to look at and, and to write down. So often we structure it in a different way. What I've done here is taken those 160 bits and written them in uh, five rows, each containing 32 bits. So in fact, from the top we see the first, first byte the second byte is eight zeros, and then on the second row we have the fifth byte all the way through to the twentieth byte at the end. Just a rearrangement of those of that packet header. 
<clears throat> Why do I do that? Because that's the common way to view the IP datagram header. Looking at it from the perspective of rows as opposed to a, a single line or a single row of bits. And we get from there to a common uh, diagram that shows a, the structure of an IP datagram. It shows it row by row, each row containing 4 bytes or 32 bits. And by default there are 5 rows in the IP datagram header, 20 bytes. The first field in the IP datagram header is the version field and that is contained in the first four bits. The next four bits are the header length, H length on this diagram. If we count the bits at zero then the version is bit 0, 1, 2, 3, the header length bit 4, 5, 6, 7. The 31st bit is the end of the total length field and then the next bit is the start of the identification field. So we read row, row by row, left to right. So this shows the diagram of an IP datagram uh, including the header, the default size of 20 bytes. It also shows that in an IP datagram header we can have optional fields and to make sure that the header is a multiple of 4 bytes or 32 bits we may need some padding depending upon the length of those options. And then the data follows. Later we'll look at uh, how long the data can be. The data in this diagram is the payload of this packet. So even though packets are just a sequence of bits, when we want to draw them or describe them we often for convenience uh, draw them row by row. Uh, there's a typo there for convenience headers and trailer fields are often drawn row by row. Sometimes we even draw them in a, in a simpler form. We just draw the header and the data or the payload as in this case. So instead of drawing all the individual header fields as row by row, we draw a single row indicating the IP header followed by the data or the payload. And we may uh, list those header fields underneath the header. So just different ways to, to communicate the, the structure of a packet. This gives the actual values, all the header fields and their values for the example IP datagram header that I showed. So the, the version IP version 4, the header length 20 bytes, even though the value was 5, because it, it's interpreted as 5 times 4 bytes, and the other fields, all the way through, this, through to the source and destination address. Uh, one thing to note there is there's in the middle there's some flags used. Recall a flag usually is a single bit value. When it's 0 it means some feature is off or not set. When it's 1 that fe a, a feature is on or true or set. So in this example IP datagram there was a flag that says the don't fragment uh, option is set. You should not fragment this datagram. And there's a, another flag, a single bit value saying that there are no more fragments. That is the more fragments feature or option is not set because the flag value is zero. Next we'll look at how do we determine what the, a good size of a packet is. Uh, 